I do not condone any type of hate, harassment, or any behavior like that. Oh, I love telling stories. I love gossiping. I love telling stories. But what I do not condone is hate of any kind. No one should hate nobody. I love making conspiracy theories that are stupid. But if you're conspiracy theories, but if you're connecting real life people's lives dots, that's just weird champ, okay? Here's my breaking point. Before this, we were talking about the dream hypotheticals. We're still talking about my hypothetical dream in this situation. I am very much loyal. Loyal to a T. However, there are two instances that really got me like a bit shaken up. The thing that broke the camel's back was definitely the money thing. Business is business no matter what. I won't fuck with your cash. Don't fuck with mine. And here's the thing. What I'm, I appreciate Bishoujo for this. They are very, very transparent with their like cash flow and all of that. And I really appreciate it. Even though we don't really need to know, not cash flow for everyone. Like for me, they're like, hey, we just want you to know merch is selling well or like merch is going to stop selling at this point. Stuff like that. They're very transparent with everything. I don't really need that. What I need is if Vishojo says, hey, Michi, you earn $5,000. And I'm like, okay, can I have proof? And then they don't send me proof. That's fine, but give me $5,000. No questions asked. However, if you say, Michi, you earn $5,000 and then you don't give me $5,000 and then you give me debt, that's when we're going to have a problem. I can be as lenient as I can when it comes to people but when it comes to business i take it quite seriously no one fucks with my cash no one fucks with chat's cash i'm very happy with michael because of this as well michael has like the same mentality i do i don't even have to do anything michael has been on everyone's ass once upon a time i dreamt that i was traveling and i decided to visit the place that i worked for in my dream let's not say i let's just say bethany once upon a time a girl named bethany was traveling and bethany decided to visit a build an office in which bethany was working for during that visit bethany was a uh, very excited because this is where bethany is uh, working so bethany was very excited and then as they were giving the tour and etc etc bethany saw on the walls there were a bunch of cool achievements one of them had bethany's name on it and bethany wanted to take a picture but no can do that's okay that's okay you know bethany understood sometimes privacy is a very big thing and bethany is a very private person so bethany did not take mine into that but then during this time bethany made a joke about jokingly being like you know the hand gesture where you like oh yoink you know what i mean so bethany made a joke being like ooh, shh, yoink like that and like laughing about it and then bethany got scolded for making a distasteful joke now was bethany right no perhaps that is a bad joke but considering bethany was working in the entertainment industry bethany thought people would take jokes easily and not have people think that bethany was actually a thief and a little bit that made bethany feel pretty bad because it made bethany feel like wait a minute did they really think that bethany would steal what kind of person do you think bethany is why are you for real scolding bethany for making what is clearly a joke did you take it seriously did you really think bethany would do that and the scolded was we will kick you out of the building scold and bethany that hurt bethany's feelings that that sucked and i was like hmm interesting bethany said <laughs> and bethany was like hmm um that's a joke and then they're like i get it but you know you gotta understand i can't have that happen here bethany said okay i'm sorry i understand i went too far but deep down bethany's heart they're like what the fuck <laughs> am i not allowed to to just pretend yoink bethany not only is not allowed to just take a picture of bethany's own stuff bethany can't even joke about it and that made bethany feel very very weird because bethany was like damn that's weird but i didn't even touch it bethany said <laughs> bethany didn't even touch it bethany didn't even like come close and pretend to like remove it off the wall no not at all bethany was on the other side of the room looking at the, the manager and being like haha shh and then pointing at it and then pointing inside her pocket that's all bethany did they didn't touch it they didn't try to remove it none of that just the point point at the thing point at the pocket that clearly does not fit who the fuck do you think bethany is why what's what this no jokes allowed kind of shit it's, it's like bethany just expected better from an entertainment company that really got bethany pissed i'm gonna be real with you i was quite i was quite pissed was what bethany said do you think i would really steal after everything i've done for you all my friends can just sign a piece of paper and i can sell that shit 
is pretty What are you like talking about? Street. Bethany thought to herself. She really, really thought, you really look at me and see me as a thief? After everything I've done for you? After everything I've did? After everything I've given you for fucking free? You really think I would come in here and steal? Is that how lowly you see of me? Do you think of me as that low? Is that how low your expectations are of me? That's just rude, Bethany thought out loud. Clearly never really in front of anyone, because it's clear that Bethany can't do that. So Bethany kept it to herself. Bethany did end up confronting them, and they did end up apologizing. And you know what? Bethany forgave them. Bethany forgave them because Bethany told them they were like, Hey man, listen, I was joking, right? And you took it so fucking seriously. And that hurt my ego. I'll be 100% with you. And they apologized. And Bethany forgave them. But Bethany never forgets. Bethany will never ever forget that. Bethany remembers. Yeah, to make it worse, when Bethany decided, you know what, I'm... Bethany decided to go start making butter, live her cottagecore life dream. When she decided, I don't want to work anymore, I'm gonna live my cottagecore life dream and make butter. Bethany do realize there are certain items here that are legally obliged for Bethany to return back because it, it's not Bethany's item right so bethany contacted people being like hey where do you want me to send your goods over because bethany is a very honest person bethany may be an asshole and bethany may be stupid but bethany will never keep something that does not belong to bethany bethany contacted them like where can i drop them off and they never said shit so at that point bethany could have stolen it but no because you know what chat bethany has a very strong honor code so bethany held on to that flew all to where the f their job is which is like an eight hour flight and returned it personally no one was like okay bethany send it over here and no bethany did that even though bethany could have just stolen that thing she could have kept it to herself no bethany brought it with her gave it back personally to the person that deserves to have this item because that's the kind of person bethany is very big honor code so the fact that someone assumed that bethany would sink so low to steal something really hurt Bethany's ego. If it came from someone that Bethany didn't know, perhaps it just might be a distasteful joke. But this person knew Bethany. Bethany knew this person. And that's what hurt the most. What hurt Bethany wasn't the fact that it's like, oh, it's their job, you know, you they had to do this. No, what hurt was the fact that they assumed it, even though they clearly knew Bethany would never do that. Because if Bethany was the type of person to screw people over, oh, Bethany definitely could have. And until today, Bethany forgives them, of course. They're good people in Bethany's eyes. Perhaps just really strict at work, but good people nevertheless. But Bethany will never, ever forget. Bethany definitely could have done something. Bethany definitely could have screwed shit up. Because here's the thing, chat. In my hypothetical story for children, volume 6, page 12, Bethany remarks, the shit you see online, that's just one side of the story. What Bethany experienced was a whole completely different story. A whole DLC, I dare say. And if this DLC ever came to light, no. You're lucky Bethany has an honor code. You're lucky. It's those things where it's like, because I guess Bethany forgave them, it's not worth it. The risk is way too big. It doesn't matter. Bethany is the type to stomach shit, okay? Bethany's not very good at letting emotions out. They forgive, just not forget. Now Bethany knows what to do and what not to do. And then the straw that broke the camel's back was the money thing. So all of that altogether kind of was a uh, Bethany's tipping point. But I don't know who Bethany is, and I'm making the story up. So I'm <laughs> justice for Bethany. Hell yeah, justice for Bethany. It's okay though, because it's been so long that Bethany can't give a shit about it. Bethany do not care. Right now, Bethany's living the good life, doing absolutely nothing and not giving a shit. And now, Bethany, from what I heard from the ending of the story, there's a good ending to this. Now Yamu Bethany can just sit Street back, look to her left, and to boom, Bethany. right there. But weirdly enough, it says presented to Michi Mochibi and Scambers. What a weird way to spell Bethany. But now Bethany can take as much pictures as Bethany wants, baby girl. Let's go!